Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you exactly how to transfer a YouTube channel ownership to another Google account. So first of all, if you are already logged into YouTube on a computer, in fact, you can do this both on a computer and on the phone, but I will advise you to do it on a computer because it's better. Now, when you log into the computer, um, you come and click on the your profile picture and then you will see YouTube Studio. So you click on the YouTube Studio, so it opens you to the YouTube YouTube studio for that particular channel. If you have many channels too, then you make sure that you are switched on to the right channel. Okay, so for example, let's say that <clears throat> this is the channel I want. If, if you have many channels, you can come here and then you will see your channel. You can go to your channel and select the correct channel that you want, okay? Or you can go to switch account to switch on if you are switching on to another Google account to go to that particular channel you want, okay? So I am already in the right channel I want. So this is what I will do. So first of all, you will scroll to the bottom left hand corner and then click on settings. From the settings, you go to permissions. From permissions, um, you go to invite. So you see invite here. So when you click on invite, it will ask you to put a user email of that particular um that particular person, that particular Google account you want to add as an administrator, then you come here and click on access. So that under the access, you see we have manager. Manager can view everything, manage permissions, go live and create edit, and create edit and delete content. The editor can view everything, can go live and create or edit content, but cannot manage the permissions or delete content. Then we have editor, same permissions as the um, we have editor limited, which is the same permissions at the editor, but can't view revenue data. We have the subtitle editor. That person can only add or edit or remove subtitles. We have viewer, viewer here too also has limitations. So these are the levels of what? Um, the levels of ownership or the levels of what? At the administrator levels or the access levels you can give to the person. So if you want the person to actually, if you want to transfer the channel to that particular person, you have to select manager. So when you select manager here, for example, then you put a person's email and you click on done. They may ask you to, um, you may be asked to prove that you are the right owner of this email, uh, this uh, uh, YouTube channel or this Google account owner. So they may send verification code to your phone to con confirm that you are the owner. After that, the invitation will be sent to the person you have sent the invitation to. Then the person will accept it and then follow the on-screen instructions. They will ask the person to accept and the person will click on accept. It will bring the person, um, it will just open to the channel for the person to see that he or she has access to it. Then let me add. So after that, okay, after you have added the person as, an, as a manager to the account, the person, you can now come here and remove yourself or that particular person can remove you because <clears throat> at, the acts, uh, at the manager level, that person can remove you. If the one you are giving access as a manager, the person can remove you or you can remove the person. So let me show you a typical example here. Um, This is, I'm switching to another Google account to show you what I did here. So if you see this Google account, I have a second administrator there. So if you go to permissions, you see this is the owner, this is an editor. So as the owner, I can remove the editor. However, if uh, 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 as, as I am the owner, like using the first one as the owner, I can remove the editor. However, if the other one, the editor too, if that editor was also having the owner or administrator or manager role, that person too can also remove me. So after you have made the person manager, then you can now go to that account and remove your first account that was the original owner. Or you can still use the first account to remove the other one. So example, let me show you something. Because this one has only one owner, I cannot go ahead to remove this particular um account but if this one was also a manager at having the manager level i would have been able to i can um go to this particular account and remove this one so if you follow this you will be able to transfer your youtube channel ownership to another account and if you follow it and you are having any problems you can leave your comments in the comment section i'll reach out to help you
to be able to resolve those issues and do it successfully. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell and like this video for other more powerful videos. Once again, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.